Welcome to the F5 Networks Advanced Web Application Firewall Demo Series. In this demo, we'll show how to protect a web application from malicious user input by using parameter enforcement with Big IP Advanced WEF. F5 Networks Industry Leading Web Application Firewall. This is Demo 10 of the AWEF Demo Series, and it's intended for new to intermediate level Big IP Advanced WEF users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to make malicious requests using user input fields. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the backend web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request and can block all malicious requests and prevent them from going to the backend web servers. Let's start by examining the current vulnerable web application. We'll use the damn vulnerable web application or DBWA for short. First, We'll use the user input field on this web page as it's expected to be used. Once we submit the request, notice we can view the parameter name and the value we submit in the query string. We'll now maliciously attempt to add additional parameter names and values. And then submit the new request. Currently, this web application allows users to inject malicious parameter names and values in the query string before submitting the request to the web server. Next, we'll use the user input field on this web page and submit a very long request. The request succeeds. Although this isn't necessarily a malicious request, this user input field should be limited to no more than 50 characters. Let's submit a request with several keyboard symbols. This request also succeeds. However, this user input field should be limited to only alpha characters of A through Z and numbers of 0 through 9. Finally, we'll use the user input field on this page. Before we submit the request, we're going to use a tool called Burp Suite. This tool enables us to view the request before sending it to the web server. Let's attempt to add some additional parameter names and values in the data portion of the HTTP POST request and then submit the modified request. Again, this request succeeds. The web application allows users to inject malicious parameter names and values within the body portion of the HTTP POST request before submitting it to the web server. Let's view the Big IP Advanced Web Event Log. When we select this log entry, you can see that the malicious parameter names and values in the query string were accepted by the advanced web security policy and sent to the web server. With this log entry, you can see that the malicious parameter names and values in the data portion of the HTTP POST request were also accepted by the advanced web security policy and sent to the web server. We'll now update the Big IP Advanced Web Security Policy by adding parameter enforcement, which will enable us to protect the web application from these malicious requests. First, we'll take a look at the virtual server we were just using to access the DVWA site. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. .10 on the virtual server security policies page, 
You can see that we already have a big IP advanced web security policy attached to this virtual server name 09B, parameters, security policy. Let's examine the big IP advanced web parameters list page. This page displays all the parameters allowed in this security policy. Currently, there are no explicit entries on the page. There is the view state entry, and also the asterisk, or wildcard entry, which identifies that the security policy is currently allowing all parameters to be requested by users. Now, let's add parameter enforcement using the learning and blocking settings page. This page is used to configure nearly all security policy settings. We'll expand the parameters section. This option enables Big IP Advanced Web to learn about specific parameters. It's currently set to Never, Wildcard only. This means the security policy will allow all parameters. Always specifies we'll create a comprehensive parameter whitelist that will include all parameter entities used in the web application. For all parameter violations, we'll select the Learn, Alarm, and Block checkboxes. These violations enable Big IP Advanced Web to identify, and then block, requests that violate specific attributes about each parameter, such as its data type, its maximum length, or its allowed keyboard characters. We'll select this option, which ensures that Big IP Advanced Web will configure each parameter according to the data input by users. We'll also select this option, which will enable the automatic policy builder to learn qualities of integer or numeric parameters. At the bottom of the page, in the Trusted IP Addresses section, note that we are using a trusted IP range of 10.1.10.0 for building this security policy. The Windows workstation is using the IP address 10.1.10.199. So all requests we submit will be considered trusted requests. We'll now save. And apply the policy. When updating a security policy with Big IP Advanced WEF, you must always click Apply Policy to see the changes in the application. Now. We're going to simulate multiple requests to the web application from a trusted IP address, using an iMacro in Firefox. We're using these requests so that the automatic policy builder can learn about the different parameters in the web application. We'll now return to the parameters list page. Several parameters have been added to the parameter whitelist. Notice that all new parameters have a parameter value type of ignore value. This means that Big IP Advanced Web will not yet block request based on the values submitted into these parameters. Let's select the name parameter. While a parameter has a parameter value type of ignore value, there are no other configurable attributes. We'll now run the iMacro again. We'll then reload the parameters list page. The new parameters now have a parameter value type of user input value. Again, we'll select the name parameter. This parameter now has a data type of alphanumeric and a maximum length of 10. This value isn't long enough for this parameter, so we'll wait for more traffic samples. Now, let's select the ID parameter. This parameter has a data type of integer and a maximum value of 10. Again, this isn't a high enough value for this parameter, so we'll wait for more traffic samples.
We'll run the iMacro once more. And then return to the parameters list page. Notice that several of the parameters are no longer in staging. This means that Big IP Advanced WEF will enforce the parameter attributes, such as data type and maximum length. Let's select the MTX message parameter. The automatic policy builder has configured this parameter with a maximum length of 500, as it's used to submit user comments in the web application. This is a sufficient value for this parameter. We'll run the iMacro one last time. We'll then return to the parameters list page. All new parameters are no longer in staging which means Big IP Advanced WEF will enforce the different attributes for each parameter. The name parameter now has a maximum length of 100. However, as a reminder, we do not want to allow values with more than 50 characters. So we'll manually change this parameter attribute. The Value Meta Characters tab enables us to configure every keyboard character that is allowed and disallowed, in this parameter. Notice that several keyboard characters are currently set to allowed. There are four characters in particular that we do not want users submitting into this parameter. We'll first select them. Note that this character, the pipe character, is already disallowed by default. We'll now move the other three characters to the overridden security policy settings section. Then change each of them to disallow. And then update the parameter. The ID parameter now has a maximum value of 50. However, we don't want this parameter to accept values higher than 20, so we'll manually change this attribute. We'll now open the security policy, which we can quickly get to by clicking on Application Security. We've been using automatic policy building. However, now that the security policy is stabilized, we will disable policy building to avoid learning any new parameters or new parameter attributes. Don't forget to save and apply the security policy. Let's test the new security policy settings using the web application. The field on this page is the ID parameter. You can see that we can still enter numeric values. We'll now attempt to enter a value of 25. Because we're maliciously attempting to insert a value higher than 20, this request is now blocked by the Big IP Advanced Web Security Policy. Let's enter a legal value. and then attempt to inject additional parameter names and values. Because we're attempting to use the query string to insert parameters that aren't on the parameters whitelist, this request is also blocked by advanced WEF. Next, we'll use this field, 
which is the name parameter. You can see that this parameter still allows short text values. Let's attempt to submit a long request into this field. Because this request contains more than the maximum length attribute for this parameter, this request is now blocked. Let's try and submit a request with the special keyboard characters. This request, containing meta characters that are disallowed for this parameter, is also blocked. Finally, let's once again use Burp Suite to attempt to add additional parameter names and values into the data portion of an HTTP POST request. Again, because this request contains parameters that are not on the parameter whitelist, the Big IP Advanced Web Security Policy blocked this malicious request. Both the ID and the name parameters are protected against malicious user inputs. We'll now return to the Big IP Advanced Web Event Log to see why these requests were blocked. First, we'll filter the log files to view only blocked log entries. The first request violated the maximum value of 20 for the ID parameter. The next request included two illegal parameters, hack and attack. Notice in the request section that the illegal parameters are highlighted in the query string. This request was blocked because the name parameter has a maximum length of 50 characters, and this request was for 130 characters. This request contains several characters in the name parameter that are not included in the allowed meta characters list. And finally, this request contains six illegal parameters. Notice you can view every illegal parameter's name, along with each parameter's value. Thank you for watching this demonstration on using parameter enforcement using F5 Big IP Advanced WEF. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Network Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.